It's Friday, I'm Matthew Pate, and today I'm going to be tying the Neon Tag Buzzer, a great all-round fry for any buzzer fisherman. <laughs> and a bumble... <laughs> First of all, get your hook in the vice. This is the Camasam D120 Wet Supreme. Good strong hook. Catch your thread in behind the eye. Make your way down. Don't go all the way to the bend of the hook because uh, what we're going to do, we're going to put a little tag in of neon flash. And catch the neon flash on the side. Catch it in. Create your tag. Go down and around the bend. Come back up over the top of the area. What you do then? Come up, catch off the, the flash, trim it off. Now come up the body, making it making the night the body nice and even. Come up to where the thorax is going to start, which is about a quarter of the shank length. And then work your way back down. On the way back down, we're going to catch in some wire, micro wire, gold. Right down to where the start of the tag is. At this point now, you're going to spin your bobbin anti-clockwise to flatten out the thread. Make your way back up the body. What this does is it makes the body nice and smooth. Makes the fly look good. Back up to where you're going to start your thorax. There. Take your wire. Straight turn at the back. Now as you wrap up the body, a good way to get a nice even rib is to do it in one continuous movement. The more you practice that, the nicer your rib will be. Catch off the wire. Break. So the next material is orange span flex. So we do this. You take it underneath your fly. Fold it around your thread. Pick your bobbin, hold it up, holding the floss and the span flex underneath the shank. At this point, you can let go of your flexi floss. You want to get the flexi floss to pull down and pull back away from the hook, catching it in as you're going down. At that point, there. Then make your way back up. What you want to do is you want to build up a little bit of a thorax. Don't worry about too much about building up too much of a thorax because we'll do that with the cheeks and the bug bond. Let me just trim these off. There. So at this point now you want to get behind the eye. Pull up your cheeks. On top of the shank. There, hold the, sp the span flex on top, make two loose wraps. This allows you now to move the span flex around, getting into position you like. And so, if you're happy with where they sit in, hold the span flex again, tighten up, make two right tight wraps. Double check. Yeah. This is the careful part. So what we're gonna do stretch the span flex just a little bit and trim as dare as you as close you dare go. Okay. Now to build the head of the fly up, 
all we do, we use the whip finish tool to cover the excess span flex and make the head of the buzzer tighten up trim off now what I like to do at this stage is highlight the wing buds of the buzzer which are the span flex highlight the base of the buds a nice effect Now what I do is take the hook out of the vise, catch it in, take your resin, now I like to just give the buzzer a quick coat, all the way around, working in the varnish, or the resin sorry, all the way around the thorax, getting into all the nooks and crannies. All the way around. For any excess you see on the body, just rub it with the base of the needle. Now at this point, I like to add a little bit of resin onto the head of the fly, just to give the profile of a buzzer. This stage, zap it with your torch. Get a good zap in. Make sure it's nice and cured. All the way around. Now at this stage, to get the buzzer nice and shiny, I like to use varnish, brushable varnish. And I just lightly coat the buzzer all the way around, giving it that deep shine. A huge HM Fly Fishing thank you to Matthew Pate, also to you guys, the viewers. Because if it wasn't for your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscriptions, then we couldn't continue making Fly Days and all of our other content, which you can find over on hmflyfishing.co.uk. So until next time, catch you later.